good. I just came downstairs. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kiss till I eat up my They probably would have, so. I mean, they haven't so far, but they haven't even had breakfast yet, so. Anyway, thank you. Yeah. Hello, friends. As you can tell from that message from Jason, it's my birthday today. He left me a cute little surprise out there in the kitchen, and I'll show that to you here in just a second. All right, so I've been trying to figure, trying to get a video uploaded in time for today, um, but I'm just not gonna worry about it. I don't wanna have it posted at the wrong time, so on my actual birthday day, I didn't have anything go up, and I'm sorry. Chelsea, you wanna say hi? I'm making hash browns. She's making hash browns. She loves it when I buy her hash browns. But today, I came downstairs to a really fun surprise from Abby and... Oh wait, Abby did it? Yeah, Abby did, did it. No, that's why it's such a fun surprise. Hey, can you take that to the laundry room real quick? Yeah. So let me show you what Abby did and then Jason left me a cute little note with a surprise too. So I came down to my cake being all decorated by Abby. Isn't that cute? And then Jason left this cute little note and it says to make sure you got something special on your birthday, also, to make sure the birthday treats don't get gobbled up by our adorable little ones, I got something just to your own. Hope your birthday is special today, as well as in Hawaii. I love you. I love our family. I love us. Love, Jason. P.S. Look in the fridge. So, I came over here to the fridge, and I opened it up, and I found a red velvet cake <laughs> in the fridge. Isn't that cute that he just went and got me a side cake just for myself? And there's my Cafe Rio from yesterday, so I'm all set for lunch. Because he knows our kids, and they gobble up snacks so fast. The other night, Abby made brownies. They wanted a treat, and they wanted to make my birthday cake so bad that I knew I needed to buy something else to kind of get them to the birthday day. <laughs> so Abby made brownies, and they were gone before dinner. I'm not even kidding you. She made them at like four o'clock when she got out of school and they were gone before dinner. <laughs> they love treats, baked treats. So actually any treats, who am I kidding? Anyway, so today is my actual birthday and Jason's at work and the kids are all in school. Chelsea See, Chelsea has a reading Zoom right now and you know, it is what it is. So I'm trying to like you know, be positive. I don't need a big to-do today because we're gonna have a really big to-do on our vacation and, you know, and it's also a pandemic and can't go anywhere, can't eat out, can't, you know, do anything else. I just have to be home and do chores and I mean, I'm straight in the kitchen, you know? That's just mom life. So I just made an appointment in an hour to go get my toes done. I've been trying to figure out whether I got my nails done, my fingernails, or just my feet, get a pedicure. And I decided I'm gonna do my own nails because I want them really fresh. And I don't know if I want to go to the nail salon the day before we leave. That's normally what I do. I literally go the day before we leave to go on vacation. I can't risk that because of COVID, because we have a negative, hopefully we have a negative COVID result before we travel. We also have to have um, a COVID alert on our phone installed so that if we're in proximity to someone who is COVID positive, that alerts Hawaii and puts us into quarantine. I can't risk that. So <laughs> I'm gonna get my toes done now because my toes will last a long time, especially with socks on during the winter. It lasts a long time. So I can get that done safely a week and a half before we get tested for the first time. And that, that that's gonna be, you know, efficient enough. And um, it'll make me feel special today to go get my toes done and have a massage and, you know. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, I might actually leave now after I get this video going. Just, go, let's see here. See if I can get this to work. Um, so I, I, it's a video that I did on inauguration day, and it's a video that means a lot to me. And I hope everyone takes it with heart and finds some peace, whether you agree with the turn of events or not. Just know that this video came from my heart, and my thoughts were come, you know, from my heart. Sorry, this video is like causing me <laughs> a lot of problems. 
Um, anyway, so I'm gonna try and get that uploaded. I might run to a store to just buy myself something. I was trying to think yesterday, I got a $10 gift card from um, my church leaders. <laughs> and I was like, what can I buy for $10 just for fun? And I looked at Target and I couldn't find anything. You know, I just wanted to like buy something for myself, but I just, you know, I'll find something eventually or I'll buy cereal. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. But I thought about, you know, our trip and I was trying to think of a cute shirt to wear on the plane. I always like, you know, cute shirts when you travel, but I get really, really hot <laughs> on the plane, especially with the masks. And so I might just go look for a new shirt. I have a bunch of t-shirts and a bunch of dresses that we're taking and I'll be wearing while we're there, but I don't like to wear t-shirts on the plane. I don't know why, I'm just, unless it's just like a simple travel day, an hour on the plane. I just wanna have something that's comfortable but cute. I just found one on Amazon, so if I don't find one at the store today, I might just order this one on Amazon. Maybe It's also just to get out and do something and I can't be with my kids because they're all in school and Jason has to work and it's just, just life, so might as well. I ran into a friend yesterday and she's like, ooh, did you sneak out of the house too? Is this your one trip out for the day? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so that's what you do during quarantine and during a pandemic. You just sneak out once and go and enjoy your time and then you go back home and you, you know, find yourself things to do. Okay, this is almost ready. So I'm gonna go and upload this and then we'll go get my toes done. mom life. Kids are obviously not on a call right now. I see the TV on and it's weird to have the TV on because Ashley doesn't have an iPad. Hers broke. It's really odd now that we have like electronic devices to see the TV on during the day. How are you doing? Good. You just went from pajamas to the onesie? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You have a break for a little while? Yeah. All right. How's... I finished a lot of my season now I only have four. Yeah, you only have four more activities? Yeah, we've been really laid back about your activities this week, haven't we? Yeah. AKA mom was lazy in enforcing her to do them. The easy ones I think she got done really quick. The ones that are harder or she doesn't want to do. So I need to take some extra time with you today, okay? I know, I got a little lazy on this week. <laughs> we'll catch back up and luckily her teacher doesn't really care. We've already discussed the whole writing assignment, extra reading teachers that she has. So she doesn't have a lot of extra time, a lot of extra reading teacher time. But you have a call. I'm gonna let you have a break, Ash. And later on we'll do it, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna go finish that video and upload that back to the normal. But maybe I'll get my diamond kit out and watch Netflix. Because what I could do is laundry, but who wants to do a laundry on their birthday? I even have a basket there that I left by the couch to fold last night. You guys know I don't do that. And I have a load in the dryer. Yeah, I think we're just gonna shut that door. We're just gonna I let that sit there. Oh, I'm gonna get my salad. That's what I was gonna do. Get my salad. I'm lucky that Kaylee didn't eat it. So, have that for lunch. I might actually have Jason get like pizza tonight on his way home. Cause I don't feel like cooking either. I have a recipe that I want to try. I saw it yesterday on Instagram and I want to try it. I don't think I want to like try it on my birthday. I don't want to make the effort. Also one little embarrassing tidbit. <laughs> I took my glasses off a lot while I was getting my nails done cause they fog up and then I can't look at my phone. And so I took my glasses off and I literally can't, I mean, I can see, like I can see my feet. I can see that she's putting nail polish on my feet, but I can't see like fine details. And I certainly couldn't read from a distance if I didn't have my glasses on. So I didn't notice until I was getting in the car and taking out the little, you know, the little things that they put between your toes when you get your toes done, that I didn't shave the top of my feet. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I was like, oh man. 
my legs are all smooth and they're all nicely shaved and my feet you know it's winter and you forget to shave the top of your feet I'm sorry ladies we you got to shave the top of your feet like my big toe the top of my feet I got but my big toe there's some straggler hairs on that thing TMI I'm so sorry all right so I'm sitting here doing my computer work and I got a cute little package from my friend she just dropped it off a little bag of goodies from my church ladies wishing you the best birthday ever and let's see what else is in here haha <laughs> I don't know how they knew that was my favorite but and then they said this was banana bread so yeah a nice little loaf of banana bread she said she just pulled it out of the freezer this morning yeah it's getting soft we could totally eat that and warm it up and put some butter on it gosh you guys <laughs> Oh, it's been such a weird, a weird day. I just got off the phone with my sister and she just is going through a hard time. And I just, it's just life is so hard. And yet, oh dear, two friends of ours have lost family members. One of the very, very, very first families that we met when we moved to Seattle, our friend's mother passed away and she was young. I mean, she was in her late sixties and passed away last night and I lost touch with the original friend that we you know we met when we first moved here but you know I'm just so sad for their family because she was so young and such a spirit and so nice she always just gave me huge hugs anyway she's just a neat person and then found out someone else's family member died and for different emotions it's not it's a sad thing that they passed away but we have such mixed emotions about that person in general and I'm just, and then my sister is having a hard day and then <laughs> I think everyone's like, I'm sorry this is all happening on your birthday. And it's just life, you know. I'm going to take my little banana bread and go check on my kids. Because Jason is on his way home. How many of you, like, try and do trips around your house in the least amount of trips possible? Like, carry as many things as you possibly can. Oh, I, did you just turn? Oh, got two little snuggle muffins on the couch. I'm cold and there's only one blanket. <laughs> that's all you worry about? That's their, yeah, that's their complaint. <laughs> but Jason's getting pizza. We're gonna eat and then have cake. I think Kaylee's friend Evelyn is coming over. Cake? Cake? <laughs> of course it's right in front of your face. Yeah, actually. I gotta go hide this candy bar though. It is mine. I don't mind sharing the cake. But I don't share I don't share chocolate. In fact, I have a little stash right here. Don't tell anyone where my chocolate is. The trail of Ashley: glasses, pajamas, <laughs> coat, socks, mask, toys. One, two, three. So Jason's come home and he's gotten right to work trying to fix the fireplace. But he came bearing pizza. He came home with the garlic chicken pizza from Papa Murphy's. And a pepperoni one is already in the oven for the girls. Jason and I are basically the only ones who eat this one. But we get the family size so that we can have leftovers. All right, we're gonna cut into the cake for my birthday, but we're not sure if we're sharing it with Evelyn when she comes over. So we're not gonna blow out candles, which is sad, right? But you're just wanting that cake, aren't you? Okay. It's, it's been You've sitting been... here since like 12. I know. Well, I'll do it. Oh, I just fell asleep on the couch. Nine? Oh, that's fell asleep for longer than I thought. Helping Ashley do homework over here and oh, she just passed out. But I got little treats dropped off at my doorstep. A little bag of cookies and a card and a candle. It smells really good uh, from a friend of mine. That was kind of a fun little surprise. I've had a singing telegram from my twin sister. How many of you guys knew that I'm a twin? Maybe some of you newbies are not aware that I'm a twin. Um, my twin sister always tries to beat me to the birthday wishes. We were born 
it was at two o'clock in the morning. So sometimes when she really wants to be mean, she likes to text me at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> with a little happy birthday. But she's in a different time zone and so she also has that advantage where it's not on my radar to like, it's not my birthday yet because I'm not in to the next day. But she is and so yesterday when I was laying in bed and it was like 11 o'clock at night, it was already midnight for her and she texted me and she's like, ha ha, happy birthday, I, got, I beat you to it. So we had a fun exchange last night and that was kind of fun. But, um, so I'm wishing her a happy birthday. She watches my videos, so Erin, hello. And it's kind of fun to, uh, share a birthday, but also be an adult and, you know, we have our distance now where, you know, we're not around each other and don't have to do the same birthday cake. My mom used to make two cakes. We'd each get our choice of cake. Um, I think that's where my, my love of strawberry cake came from because, I always wanted to be a little bit different than, you know, what my sister wanted to have as her cake. So it was just a good day. Obviously, like, still hanging out by myself. Jason's been trying to fix the fireplace here and he just kind of gave up. He realized he's got to order a $60 part or pay a $400 service fee to have someone look at it. So he's trying to decide which one to do. And the girls are all upstairs in bed, hopefully. And I'm just going to end my birthday day here and say goodnight to you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. This rounds out our final birthday for our family in quarantine. And hopefully by April when we start birthdays again, we don't have to have quarantine birthdays. Probably will because we won't have a vaccine by then because we're not in a bracket that would be getting one by, by the springtime. So we won't have a complete birthday celebration by then, but we'll do something a little bit better with the better weather. And I also realized, so my birthday for this year, is a little bit different and pretty kind of cool. January, which is 0121 in 2021 in the 21st century. So 012121 in the 21st century. So that's kind of cool and different. And I was, you know, joking. I'm like, oh darn, I'm, I wish I was 21. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not 21. <laughs> I wouldn't have a 15 year old if I was 21. Take care, you guys. Good night. Even on your birthdays and you're a mom, you don't get a chance to not be tired at the end of the day. So take care. See you guys next time.